Okay, here's a quick review for the quiz coming up, which I think is tomorrow and Tuesday. And it's only going to be on dominant uh, type of inheritance. And here we have a situation where fruit flies, or Sokola, um, which has been used a lot in a lot of genetic research, um, has a gene, a pair of genes, which controls eye color. So we have one phenotype that can have red eyes. The other phenotype has white eyes. And through a series of crosses, it was determined that red eyes was the dominant gene. Therefore, I used big R for red, uppercase implying the dominant gene, and lowercase r for the white. So when we look at the possibilities of pairings, of course, we can have big R, big R, which is red-eyed. We can have big R, little r, which is also red-eyed. And we can have two little r's, two recessive genes, which is the way you get white-eyed fruit flies. Another way of looking at this, I could add a little more description to it, that this is homozygous red, two big R's. Down here at the bottom, it's homozygous also. Remember, homo meaning same, two little R's, homozygous recessive. And then in between here, we have the heterozygous condition, yet still red eyes, big R, little R. And if you were to look at them, the phenotype, big R, big R, and big R, little R would look identical. You couldn't tell a difference by just looking at them, whether it's homozygous or heterozygous. And of course, down here is the white eye. So if we do a cross, what would be the cross between um, a heterozygous red and a white, and what would be the expected phenotypes? So if we have white-eyed crossed with the red eyes, so what we have here is little r, little r, crossed with big r, little r. Therefore, if we do a Punnett square, we put big r, little r across the top, which represents the possible reproductive cells from this parent, and little r, little r here, we then fill it in, bring one down, one over, one down, one over, and when that's accomplished, we have big r, little r in a column here, and little r, little r in a column here. And I also set up in a second way just to show that it doesn't make any difference. If I had put big R, little r here, little r, little r here, it doesn't make any difference. But the key is that you need to put the possible combinations for one parent along one side and the possible combinations for the other parent along one side. And again, we have similar results. So if we actually look at the results here, we can actually see that 50% are going to be red and heterozygous, and 50% are going to be white-eyed and homozygous. You can see it, two reds to two whites. And oftentimes you'll be asked the question like, what did you ex expect in terms of percentages among the offspring? And what you would expect would be 50% red or 50% white. Oftentimes when you may ask, well, what is the phenotypic ratio? Remember, phenotype is just a fancy way of saying, what color are they? Or I could rephrase this and say, what is the ratio of red eyes to white eyes? That's all I'm asking here. And so in this case, a phenotypic ratio would be two red to two white, or if we simplify, just say it's a one-to-one -one ratio. The same thing with the genotypic ratio. If I was to say, what is the genotypic ratio? How many are homozygous or heterozygous, depending on what we're looking for results? And in this case, it's a very simple results. Half of them are big R, little r, two are big R, little r, and half of them are little r, little r. And so therefore, the genotypic ratio in this case would be the same. And one more quick one. What would be the phenotypic and genotypic ratio in a cross between two heterozygous flies? And so we're talking about big R, little r, cross with big R, little r. Set up our Punnett square here with big R, little r, big R, little r. When we fill it in, um, bring one down, one over. Those are the results you get. And if you look at it, the results are such that one, two, three are red and one is white. Or we could say that 75% of the offspring would have red eyes and 25 would be expected to have white eyes. So if I was to ask for phenotypic ratios again, it'd be, well, What's the ratio of red to white or white to red? I, I happen to put red first, but you could do it the other way. In this case, we have three red eye to one white eye, or we can say it's a three to one ratio. And if I was to ask for the genotypic ratio, I'm asking, well, what is the ratio between the different genotypes? You can see that there's three among the offspring. Um, and so that there's one that's big R, big R. Two of them are big R, little r, the heterozygous condition. And one of them is homozygous recessive, little r, little r. So therefore, the genotypic ratio in this case would be a 1 to 2 to 1. And that's pretty much the end of the review.